welcome back to a new video guys so in today's video the rug is supposed to be getting delivered today so i'm super excited for that and then also i want to go to home goods to see if i can pass some little end tables and just buy them just to see if that's what i want in the living room and just bring them back to the house if you're new here hi my name is imani do not forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're returning then hey guys welcome back to the channel guys so i do have a spa appointment today at 12 p.m the time right now is almost 11 o'clock i'll show you guys what i'm wearing here in a minute just something real chill but I'm basically dressed for the day and we're basically going to go ahead and head out. We're going to go to the spa first and then after that home goods and then we're going to come home. And then by the time we come home, the rug should be here. And yeah, I'm excited. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So this is what I'm wearing to the spa. I just have my little gray Nike sweater and then I have some little um, black leggings. And then I just have these little cute shoes from Target. Like I said, just a real chill. Um, I just wanted to have on something comfortable. When I went to the spa today, so this is what I'm wearing. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do my red Liz Claiborne purse. Y'all, that sun is tripping. It keeps going up and down, up and down. Like, can you make your mind up? I'm trying to film. And these little shoes are just so cute. Like, I just love these little shoes from Tarjay. Really cute. So, yeah, this is what we're wearing. And now we're going to go ahead and head out. Hey guys, so we are now um, in the car and I just got finished getting my massage. Y'all, it felt so good. Like, it was so needed. I didn't even realize how much pain my body was in. Because I think, like, as humans, but, like, we, I feel like we so used to just, like, going, going, going and moving, moving, moving. We don't never really take the time to just be still. Um, and I could just tell that I needed my massage. And it just helps me with my physical and my mental and just my overall health with my muscles and stuff. So I'm glad I decided to get it today. But yeah, comment and let me know. Do you guys get massages every month? And do you actually like them? Or have you ever got one, sis? But um, we're going to go ahead and go to Home Goods, uh, see what they got. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and go to lunch. I think I'm going to go to Mike's Hot for lunch. And then after that, we're going to go to the house because I want to show y'all this rug. So hopefully it's there. So y'all be getting my reaction on camera and then i ain't never seen it so we basically gonna see the rugs together so i'm excited
Hey girls, we are back at the house and um, after I left home goods, I ended up going to the grocery store and I grabbed some stuff. So I'm gonna just do a little haul real quick. So the first thing I got was these Hawaiian rolls. This like Hawaiian um, bagels that I never had before. I thought these were pretty interesting because I like Hawaiian rolls. I want y'all to comment if y'all try anything that I'm showing y'all today. And of course we got the regular Doritos. I got this for my little chicken dip. Original cream cheese from Kroger's. Marshmallow. Kroger's got these little chicken strips that I like. Yeah, I just started getting these, but they're so good. And then I seen these fries I never seen before either. And I was like, hmm, let me try these. So it's crispy fries and they season. So then I got a Red Barnes pizza. Some Swiss Miss hot cocoa. These are the only cheese that I get. Then I got some pepperonis. Then I wanted to try this chicken sandwich sauce for my um, strips. Then I ended up getting me some white cranberry strawberry. Then I got me some Kroger's orange juice, which I love. The coffee that I use in the mornings. And then I get some ready whip and I always put this on my coffee and my um, hot cocoa. So that's the thing I got from Kroger's. I did um, get my little B-dubs and stuff earlier. I ate a couple wings and then I put the rest up for later. So I'm gonna just put this stuff in the refrigerator and I'm gonna get back with y'all in a minute. Good morning, my love. So today is officially a new day. So the rug did come last night, so I'm super excited to show you guys today. Also, I'm going to go ahead and hang up the mirror today, so I'm super excited for that as well. And the bedroom, so I'll show you guys how we do that. So we're going to hang that up today, and then afterwards, we have the rug, and then we're going to go ahead and um, unravel the rug and put it into the living room and see how I look, y'all. I'm so nervous. <laughs> y'all know I'm so nervous, so you guys will get, again, my reaction as well as, you know, what I think about it when I first see it, so... I'm a little nervous, but like I said, online it looks nice, so we'll see how we look in person. So let's go ahead and get started. So guys, this is how the mirror is looking right now. What I want to do is I want to hang this mirror up above the dresser. Um, one day I do want to get like a new dresser, but this is how it's looking right now. These are the hooks we're going to use, and then we're going to also use some anchors as well. But this is how it's looking right now, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all, so the mirror is finally up. Y'all, it looks so good. It looks so good. Ah! She looks so good, y'all. Okay. This is how she looks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She looks so good. I'm so glad I decided to move the mirror over here. She looks amazing. And she gonna look real cute with like the Corona satin and all that. Girl, I cannot wait. It looks so good, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. This is how it looks, though. It looks so cute. It just matches perfect with the space. We finally got the mirror up, y'all. Finally. Finally got the mirror up. Now I feel like we're getting closer to like the real decor. Like once we really like decorate, decorate, it's going to be so cute. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the placement of the mirror. Do you guys think this was a good place for it? Because y'all, <laughs> it's looking so cute. It's looking so good. Oh my God. Let me know. Gross. It looks so cute. The placement is nice. I can see myself. I can see myself in a bag. It looks really good. I'm so glad that we decided to put this up today. 
comment let me know what you guys think now let's go ahead and head into the living room okay guys here she is this is the rug it is in an 8x10 this is the brand right here which is pretty popular I've heard about this a lot I think they got their own website but I did get this rug off of Amazon so I'm excited got the little social medias right here okay let's see let's see if we can see some more deets on here I guess this is like the the style I think that's the style down number California but yeah guys she is extremely tall if I come back here you guys can see she basically goes all the way up to the ceiling like she is so tall the rug is pronounced Safavia Safavia <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and move some furniture around rugs can make a break let me say it again rugs can make or break yeah I'm nervous see the thing with my last rug was that I feel like it was going to go either way um, because it had like that black, gray, and white. But I've never just did a rug that was just like, I guess, two-tone. I, I don't know, but I'm nervous, girls. Let's see what it do because I'm nervous. So the first thing I'm going to do is I got to move the couch. Y'all, this couch is so heavy. <laughs> Y'all don't even understand. <laughs> Y'all don't even understand how heavy this couch is like I promise y'all and I think it's because of the gel cushions but man this couch is so heavy it makes no sense but it's really good quality so I know I'm gonna get my money's worth I can't wait to actually chill on it but I'm gonna push this all the way back just to make sure I got enough room and then we're gonna go ahead and move my ginger jar and the lid so basically um i don't forget what i was saying y'all i talked so much i literally forgot what i was saying but let's go ahead and get her open i'm so excited but nervous at the same time
the rug is actually settled in. It actually has a ton of wrinkles in it. Now, I was afraid for that. My last rug had wrinkles too, and I just kind of put books on it, as you guys seen earlier in the video. Um, I'm hoping that the wrinkles actually come out because I did see a review where um, a couple people were like, oh, the wrinkles are still in after months of having it. And I'm just like, <laughs> I really hope that's not going to be the case for me. But as you see, the books are on there in the back. So I'm just trying to just see what it do and just kind of just let the book sit on there. So the books will be on there more than likely all night. But I will still show you guys how the rug looks as far as the design and the quality. Um, so far, um, I do like the Safavia rug. I like the brand and I, um, and I actually like what they stand for as well. I did get the rug from Amazon and it was about... $169 plus tax. So, um, yeah, and it is the silver and ivory rug. So it's the silver and ivory rug, which it looks more silver and gray. Either way, it looks good with my sofa. And then also it contrasts real well with my living room as well. And I'll show you guys that when I show you guys how the rug looks. But um, it's an eight by 10 and it's very beautiful like i said it's not like a um shag rug and that's exactly what i wanted i wanted a rug that wasn't shaggy or like a furry rug i just wanted one that was just really elegant so i think this one is like perfect and yeah it looks beautiful i'm really excited um to show you guys how everything looks when it's finally done but yeah i am hoping that the um wrinkles can come out because like i said it pretty much got wrinkles on it i really want to show you guys what i ended up getting from home goods yesterday um i ended up coming across this really cute tablecloth um as you guys know i do have the table still which is the white and silver table which is what i'm sitting on now i do still have this table and right now it hasn't went anywhere <laughs> so i'm like why not get a tablecloth to you know kind of jazz it up and just make it look pretty so i did grab this cute tablecloth yesterday i did take it out the pack already but um this is the tablecloth it is a sequin texture tablecloth 60 inch by 84 so this is how the tablecloth looks i did get it on clearance the original price for this tablecloth was 17 dollars, and i got it on clearance for eight dollars at um home goods yesterday so it was a really good deal and i had just loved the sequin on there it just looked really pretty and it was all white and I think it's actually linen as well. Now, this is the tablecloth right here. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, it has like these lines in it. And it is like a linen material. So this is how it looks close up. So close up, this is how it looks. So it's really beautiful. Like I said, it's like a sequin. It has like the sequin like a little like dots on it. And it has lines on it as well. And it is like a um linen material so it's absolutely gorgeous it's all white really pretty like isn't this gorgeous guys Yeah, I wanted to try to take some wrinkles out of here. Can you steam this tablecloth? I'm pretty sure you can. Cause it got like wrinkles in it and I'm like, it's so pretty. I don't really want to have wrinkles in it y'all. But it's so gorgeous like, and it matches my decor style as well. When I seen this little sequence, I was like, oh, this is so cute. Wow. But yeah, I want to try to get, it's so pretty. I want to try to get these um, wrinkles out of here.
right, guys. So this is how the tablecloth is looking as of right now. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, oh my goodness. As you guys see, it has the sequence on there and it is just so elegant. Not doing too much, but doing just enough. You guys, I love this. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. It just looks so pretty. So basically what I wanna do is I want to put some flowers on here see how it looks and y'all i think what i'm gonna do too is i'm gonna add these chairs back in here because i feel like when i put this tablecloth on there it just looked it better with these chairs so i want to add these chairs to see how it look as well with some little flowers y'all this had a uh, <laughs> this had a rug looking right here this how she looking y'all right now i gotta get y'all a full full once all these books and stuff are up but like i said she's a really good quality but like I said, she has a ton of wrinkles, like I said, that has to get out. So we are going to let her kind of just set overnight and just see how many wrinkles can come out by tomorrow. But the rug is definitely absolutely stunning. So yeah, this is how she looks right now though. Like I said, she's a little longer than a sofa, so I might can get some end tables, but this is how it's looking right now. We'll be trying to flatten it out. I know it look crazy. <laughs> I like this tablecloth, y'all. It's so pretty. Let's put some flowers on here and see how it looks. Okay, guys, so here is the table right here looking really nice. And I would have to say that this tablecloth probably elevated the table for real because it definitely looks better to me in my opinion this is pretty so i'm gonna take this chair and this chair and put it in here to see how it looks because i think it'll look cute let me see so y'all this is how it looks with the chairs right now i think it looks better with the chairs comment let me know what you guys think for me, I think the chairs just look better with the table now versus how it looked before. I feel like before it didn't look this good, but comment let me know. I love this tablecloth. So guys, this is how it looks right now. Like I said, I just put like a little something in the middle just to see how it looks. And I think it looks pretty cute. Um, I love the tablecloth and I actually like the chairs with it. I want you guys to comment, let me know. But I think the chairs look really cute with it now. This is how everything looks close up. I think it looks really elegant. Love the tablecloth. Comment, let me know what you guys think i'm loving it i think this is really cute i'm not that good at tablescaping but i'm sure i can come up with something that look real pretty but comment let me know i love it and also let me know if you guys like the chairs with it as well because i think i like it
good morning guys and welcome to a brand new day guys so we are in the living room right now so i did go ahead and take off the books and the mirrors and stuff that was actually on the rug that we ended up getting from amazon and i'm excited to show you guys how it turned out and how everything is looking now it is not flat completely however um, i do feel like it's flat enough to kind of show you guys and just show you guys kind of like how it looks with the sofa as well i have not moved the sofa back or the coffee table because i want to show you guys how the rug looks we're going to go ahead and get started okay guys this is how the rug is looking oh my god guys isn't she gorgeous okay so remember i told you guys that this is the silver and ivory now the ivory is supposed to be over here and then the silver is supposed to be like over here um so this is how it looks from this view right here just want to give you guys a view from this side okay so it looks absolutely stunning um when you come on this side or no i think this side you don't see this little extra gray part i think that came from when it was folded up not sure if it's going to um you know as you can see when you come over here it looks different you see what i'm saying it's almost like my headboard in my room like different light makes it look different colors so this is how the rug is looking. It is absolutely stunning. I love it. Comment, let me know what you guys think. I think it goes really well with the sofa as well as just the walls as well. Love the tablecloth, love the chairs right there now. I think it looks really pretty. So this is how it looks from right here. Okay. I do want to see how it looks with the coffee table on there. So I might put the coffee table back on there just to show y'all how it looks. But let me know. Let me see. Hold on. Let me go over here real quick. This is the ivory part. Like I said, it does still have a couple of wrinkles in it. But this is like the ivory side. So it's like you got like the ivory side and then like the gray side. But I just love the lightness of it. And I just think that it was just a good choice because it just brings another brightness into the space, which I love. It looks really beautiful. Then we got the sofa right here, which is looking gorgeous. Let's see how it looks from right here. And this is how it looks. So you guys see how the color of the sofa just kind of matches it. And honestly, I still feel like the sofa is lighter than the rug. But comment, let me know what you guys think. So here's a view from up here. I think it looks stunning. Now, like I said, the rug is by the brand Safavia. Um, this is a 8x10 rug. Absolutely gorgeous. What I was trying to figure out was that if I wanted it to go all the way to the fireplace or just kind of keep it off the fireplace just a little bit. I think to me, it looks good kind of off the fireplace, in my opinion, a little bit versus being always scooted up. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And then let me see. So I'm thinking. So, OK, so you guys see how long the rug is. So I think it's the eight going this way and then it's a 10 feet going this way. And like I said, my sofa is only about 89 inches. So like when I put this sofa on here. I don't know if I want to put the sofa all the way on the rug or kind of keep it off a little bit. Um, I know with my black sofa, I didn't have my black sofa all the way on the rug because I kind of wanted most of the rug to like show because to me, that's what just make it look grand and just feel like it's like bigger and like I got more room. Like, and I'm really glad that I decided to go with the eight by 10 because for one, it makes sense. And then it also just makes a big area just to put anything in so i'm really excited that i end up going for the 8x10 comment below if you guys think the 8x10 was the move comment if you guys agree like now with the big rug like the couch looks smaller so this is what i'm thinking y'all i'm like should i get the end tables that goes with my coffee table like but see the end tables that go with the coffee table is a little big and i'm not sure if they'll actually fit on both sides of this then again i'm not sure if i want side tables 
to really go in this space or do I just want to kind of like you know make it different because I am all about bringing those different vibes this year um just with everything in my life when it comes to my living room my bedroom you know my lifestyle how I live what I do for work everything so um it is all about bringing different vibes this 2022 so comment let me know what you guys think but the rug looks really cute I think it turned out really nice and I'm really glad that I decided to get this rug because I just think it just goes really cute with my space. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is kind of like the pattern, close up. Okay. And this is how the um, table is looking with this absolutely gorgeous linen tablecloth. I think it's so pretty. But this is how it's looking right now. I know it looks a little big. Comment below if you guys think it's just too big for this table. I would like a table in the future. But I feel like I didn't want to miss out on this really pretty tablecloth. So I just went ahead and just got it. Um, but I do think it looks really pretty though. Comment, let me know what you guys think. I just think it just brings a different type of elegance um, to the room. And then it just really makes this space just kind of pop more, in my opinion. I definitely feel like the table just got elevated. I know the um, cloth is a little big because it is like a 60 by 40. <laughs> but like I said, I didn't want to miss out on it. It's, and honestly, I kind of like the way it drapes on the table okay guys so that is going to conclude today's video comment and let me know what you guys think about the new rug do you guys think it contrasts really well with the sofa and do you guys just think it matches with the space overall i'm really excited for the new rug i'm just excited for the new vibes inside the living room also comment let me know should i get in tables to go inside of uh, the living room to match the um coffee table or should i just bring in new vibes like maybe like a lamp or something like that and what kind of like what other furniture pieces do you guys think that i should put in here that'll just go really well with my space whether if it's accent chairs or whatever what colors are you guys thinking also do you guys like the way everything is flowing so far also i want you guys to comment and let me know what you guys thought about the overall video do you guys go to the spa to get massages do you guys have a physical therapy at home where you live and do you guys actually get massages monthly also, let me know if you guys shop at Kroger's and do any shopping. And do you guys kind of like get some of the groceries that you've seen me get? Also, just let me know if you guys also shop at Home Goods as well. And have you actually shopped there recently? And last but not least, guys, what are you guys thinking about the dining table behind me? Do you guys like the tablecloth that I have? The sequins? Do you guys think it's really cute? And do you guys think it matched the space as well? And do you guys actually like the little like semi like tablescape that I did? <laughs> Um, and then do you guys like the chairs that go with the tablecloth and the um, table as well? Or should I get new chairs? Which I think. But I think for sure I'll keep my chairs probably simply because they are gray even though it's like a dark gray. But I feel like they kind of still go with the space. If anything, I might switch out my table to just make it more grand. But I do like the table that I have. I could probably get a longer one. But I can't get it too big because then it won't fit into the space. So comment and let me know what do you guys think about the chairs going with the table. And then also do you guys think adding that tablecloth actually made a difference in the space on the table as well. So that's going to conclude everything in today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed the living room part three. Uh, we still have a few more to go. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.